but just are a bit bleh. I'll put that back. Oh, sorry, spray it, don't say it. Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today it is glorious in Newcastle. There's a couple of little bits of cloud, but other than that, not a spit of rain. Thank God, I don't want it to be miserable. I like when it's a little bit sunny. So yes, today's video is an empties video. Can you believe that we have gone through all of September? I've got a nice little stash in front of me to take you through everything. I've got a pair of scissors here for some reason. So what I'll do is I'll start right off now with the makeup. I normally end up, I will normally always kind of start off with body care, but let's switch it around a little bit and talk about all the things that I've used this month from makeup and then we'll get into body care because there's loads of that. So the first thing I want to talk about is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. And this is a lovely primer. This says, enhance your complexion with Hydra Touch Primer. Our primer is infused with chamomile, green tea and ginseng root extract to create the perfect canvas and give your skin a radiant boost. I'll see if I can get any more out there. So my friend Jessie gave me this to try this before she moved over to KVD. And I've got a little teeny tiny bit here. I'll just smooth it on the hands. It's a very, oh, it smells really nice. It's a very lightweight feeling primer. It soaks in really well, but it does create, it kind of give you a little bit of moisture that you might need for underneath your foundation. It's lovely. And I would absolutely buy this again. It lasted ages. I think she gave me like enough for this. And this was over a year ago and it's just taken me all that time to use through. So I would definitely get that again. Sorry, I've got my window open just to get a bit of air in. So if you can't hear loads of cars and children playing, <laughs> that is why. <laughs> the other one I've got here is the NYX Pore Filler primer. This is very similar to the Benefit Professional primer. Now the only reason why I've had to get rid of this one is I didn't finish it off, it just dried out, which is a shame, but you can kind of see a little bit come out there and it, it just again fills in all your pores so you have a lovely smooth base. If you are looking for a cheaper alternative to Benefit Professional, then go for this one as well. I really like that one, it was lovely. Another thing from NYX, wow, this is like a NYX, non-stop NYX party, is the Control Freak Clear Brow Gel. Now, I've never really been one for brow gels because I don't feel like my brows are so long that they go crazy when there's wind or anything like that, but it's quite nice. It doesn't leave your brows crunchy. I would absolutely get this again. I've had this one for a while and it's kind of, it's not really putting much on my brows now. A one that I don't like is the Sleek brow clear brow gel because that leaves your brows crunchy so if you want a nice cheap affordable brow gel I'll pop that on your little list there now anything that I've mentioned here um, I do have little clickable links down below where you can purchase these and I may or may not get a commission through the link because I don't know if I've set it up right so but yeah if you want to support me you can click the little link down below and that's the end of that goodbye Okay, next thing we have here is the Revolution Pro Micro Brow Pencil. And then on one side you've got a little spoolie, and on the other side you have the brow. Now I can't obviously turn anymore. This was four pounds. What I will say, you know, can't fault the, the, the price point. Didn't last very long. Of all the brow products, brow pencils that I've had, this was the fastest, the one that I used the fastest. And I only got this a couple of months ago and I didn't use it all the time. I used it in conjunction with another brow pencil and a pomade. So I was quite shocked at how quickly that went down. Also, a little, little design flaw from the Revolution Pro company is that they've not actually included the colour of the brow product anywhere on the packaging. So if you have a few of these, if you're a makeup artist and you have a few of these in your kit, you're gonna to have to write on somewhere or put a little dot or something so you know the color on there. So maybe that's something that, you know, if they ever, make a revolution ever listen to my videos, that's something maybe to add on. But it's a really good product. The tip is really, really fine. And again, this is a, a massive a price swap to the Precisely My Brow from Benefit. Again, that is a lovely brow pencil, but if you are on a budget, this one is one to try. Then we have got a favourite. This is a KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner. As you can see, it's very well loved. 
It does have some ink left in it, but it's just not as jet black as it could be. I've wiped it, I've cleaned it, I've done all the things you could do to try and make it work. I think it's just pretty much dead now. So I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got myself a NYX Epic Ink Liner, which is like a dupe for it. And I also have the new Lisa Armstrong Tattoo Eyeliner Pen. Now this isn't in a brush, but it is very black and it's for a felt tip liner it's very nice so those are the two that i'm using at the moment but if you want a complete dupe to the kvd vegan beauty tattoo liner the nyx epic ink one is that and it's brilliant it's got the brush tip on it as well another brow one this is a Deso styling eyebrow pencil the reason why I've, I've kind of got rid of it is that it's it's snapped inside and it just keeps falling out but it was a really lovely brow pencil also the spoolie thing came off as well this was given to me by my friend Vera it was absolutely lovely when it worked but it's just broken now and I've got another one that I'm using then the second last thing from the makeup I've got is the sugar pill nurse liquid lipstick I love the sugar pill liquid lipsticks they are amazing i don't really get on with their solid lipsticks which is a shame because they have some amazing colors but this is it here it's a beautiful i'm going to do a little swatch it's a beautiful blue red dries matte doesn't crack doesn't feel drying on the lips it's so lovely oh, let's just put some more on it's really fab the reason why is just that i've had it so long it started to dry out and it just didn't go on the lips very well so I think I will go, I'm going to have to go through my makeup drawer and kind of chuck out some of my old stuff. So if you want to see a declutter video, leave a little comment down below what you'd like to see declutter with. Let's see lipsticks, eyeshadows, let me know. And then the last thing on the makeup, yeah, the last one on the makeup one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Now this was like my favourite foundation of all time. It was amazing. I think it was about 27, 28 pounds in the shade 0.5. It just suited me perfectly. This was like a medium buildable foundation. Comes in a pump. So good. And then they discontinued it. And I just, I just don't know what to do because the all nighter foundation, as you might have seen from my last empties video, just caked on me. And I kind of scared to try the other foundation that they've got in case it's not right so i am trying some new ones i'm really obsessed with the maybelline fit me 105 i love i've had this for ages but the primark foundation three pounds amazing i love urban decay foundations but just the all night one was too heavy and i just feel like 27 pounds is quite a a jump if I'm not gonna like it which is what happened with the all-nighter so that's that one there a little bit of skincare for the face I have this really cute creme shop sheet mask which is a tiger it doesn't look that cute on me I can tell you that for now but it was really nice you're not dripping anywhere and I've got a couple more of these to go through and then I actually finished I can't believe it and I've, I've started another one but the ordinary retinol 0.5% in squalene this is lovely so cheap helps with fine lines texture wrinkles that the general signs of aging and this one i don't know if the one i've got is exactly the same one but this one felt a little bit more oilier on the skin but absolutely lovely and i'm so glad that i've got another one whenever i go to cut whenever i go to london which isn't that often especially now with covid uh, I do make a special trip to the Ordinary Shop in Covent Garden to pick up some stuff. My normal foundation that I wear from the Ordinary was out of stock, so I, I have been trying the Serum Foundation in 1.1N. I'm not the biggest fan of that one. It's I normally use the Coverage one. It, it, that one kind of seems to sit in my lines. For fragrance, we have the Pomegranate and Black Tea Perfume by Primark. This is like a Jo Malone rip off spot on though three pound for the purse spray so strong i had loads of compliments up for it i actually in the middle of finishing off the basil and mandarin jo malone <laughs> dupe and they're absolutely amazing and they last ages and like i said they're very strong so they last ages on the skin and for three pounds you can't go wrong a little one that I kind of panned my way through, if you can pan a bottle, but it was the Primark Mermaid Body Shimmer Spray. This was an impulse buy. 
I've kind of curbed my impulse buying a lot but it's not really good and it was glittery I just I'm not 13 I don't know why I bought this but I was just I just to get through it I was just spraying it on myself so if you like sparkle stuff get yourself to Primark okay into body I've got some stuff for the feet and I've just finished off the Avon Footworks Pineapple and Tea Tree Hydrating Serum and Vitamin E. There, It smells amazing. It smells like holiday. It smells so good. But my God, the colour is disgusting. When you when you pour it out, it's like this yellow colour. I'm being honest, it looks a bit like pus when you're squeezing it out. It's quite a thin serum. It rubs in and soaks in quite quick. For some reason, through lockdown, my heels have cracked. And at one point they were quite painfully cracked. I don't know what caused it. Well, actually, I tell a fib. I think I do know what caused it because I was sanding. Because you can see I've got a little bit of polyfiller on the wall there, which I've yet to sand down because I'm lazy. But I, I was sanding lots of um, skirting boards and things like that. And I think, because I wasn't wearing shoes, it absorbed all the moisture out of my feet. And it's made my feet crack. So I've been using that in conjunction with the O'Keefe's Working Feet cream which is a bit like the working hands cream and pink peppermint foot lotion by Lush and also Heal Genius by Soap and Glory just using them periodically throughout the day like I, I normally put it on in the morning and in the evening I normally put the O'Keefe one in the evening this one when you put it on with socks your feet slide around in it but with the Heal Genius I didn't find that really ha happened then we're going to go into body so we're going to talk about body care and body wash I finished, very sadly, I finished my bath and body work, aromatherapy, stress relief, and it says the sage and cedar wood. Oh God, it smells so good. A body scrub. This stuff is amazing. I, if only the shipping from Bath and Body Works in America wasn't so expensive, I would absolutely buy more of this. I can't actually find this anymore on their website because I would buy more of this smell. It is so good. This was $16.50 which I think it is quite up there in price because apparently that's part of their aromatherapy range. I know when I was in Bath & Body Works, they had like a three for two offer on, but this wasn't included because I was also going to get the Bath & Body Oil. I'll put that back tight. And uh, But this is lovely and it had a really good grit to it. If you've ever tried the Clinique for Men face scrub or the Avon Invigorating face scrub, it kind of had that texture. Very fine, but very exfoliating and very minimal law that it was more about the scrub and my god did it buff you away so really recommend this if you are in the states get one of them scrubs because they are unreal then some body wash products we've got two oh sorry spray it don't say it say it don't spray it should I even say we've got two salt and glory uh, body washes so we've got the best washes spice body wash from last christmas and then we've got a bottle of the clean on me shower gel both amazing smells i hope that this christmas they bring this smell out again because oh, i love it so much i've got a little teeny tiny pot of the body lotion left but just such a gorgeous smell and obviously the clean on me is the like the original pink fragrance it's so nice i absolutely love soap and glory a lot of you if you've seen my videos you'll see me talk about how much i love soap and glory i love this their scrubs are my favorite thing ever they're amazing their bath bombs i'll be honest i mean i am spoiled for choice because i work at lush but their bath bombs smell amazing but just are a bit bleh. They don't really do much, they sink, they don't create much colour, but they do smell nice. But their scrubs, their body lotions, their body butters, everything's amazing. And I like actually their skincare and their makeup range. I love their thick and fast mascara. Okay, this is an empties video, not a favourites video, Sarah, calm down. But yeah, Soap and Glory, good. <laughs> and then we have got a little body lotion by Avon. This is the Avon Care Revitalising Body Butter with Banana. This that's what I don't know why I'm doing this because it's empty this has a lovely banana smell but I feel like the banana smell could be dialed up a little bit more I love banana smell I love the body shop banana range so in my head and I love the Garnier banana hair food mask so in my head I was thinking that's what this was going to smell like and it's a very light milky banana do you know banana yogurt the kids banana yogurt it's like that which is lovely but I just want more like give me more banana smell that's all I'm saying Okay, then we've got some nourishing 
plus coconut milk shampoo. This is technically Alex's, but I finished it off, so I was like, I'll have that. And it smells lovely. Again, like I've mentioned in previous empties, I hate the shape of these bottles. I hate the thickness of the plastic. It makes it really hard when you want to get the last dregs, the, the last of it out, because you've got a round cap like this. It narrows, you can't like tip it up and leave it upside down to get everything out. The bottle, like you can't, it like, you can't squeeze it properly, so it, I just wish this company would change the packaging because I just it's, it's annoying to use. Then we've got something by Cien from Lidl, and this is the Color Ignition Color Vibrant Shampoo with rose scent. I don't think it smells like rose because I don't really like rose smell. It's just a floral smell, and it's a bit like the Herbal Essences shampoo. Pretty much, I just ran out of shampoo the other month. I think I've had this for about two months because I, I kind of I'm using it in conjunction with Garnier. Actually, I think I bought this about three or four months because I'm using it with Daddy O and a Garnier banana food shampoo and also like a like a anti dandruff type shampoo. I don't know what's happened. The reason I bought this because something has been causing my scalp to get really flaky, and I thought, well, I'll just change my shampoo up because I didn't know if it was Daddy O. And then the, the anti-dandruff stuff that Alex got me seemed to have worked, but then I've just been using, I don't know what caused it because it's gone away and I'm still using everything and it hasn't come back. So maybe I was just a bit stressed or maybe I've just not been washing out my conditioner properly, which is probably more than likely that reason why. But this is quite nice and I think it was only 75 pence. So again, if you're on a budget and you want a shampoo, go for this one. I don't think I really saw much in the way of protecting the color in my hair. I mean, to be fair, like when I was using it, I was pretty much blonde. But if you do dye your hair, and you and especially reds in your hair, reds are very notorious colour to you. It's hard to keep it in your hair, for, to keep the vibrance and the full colour, but it's also hard to get rid of it, like the last winter amounts, to then go to a different colour other than red. All I would say is wash your hair with lukewarm to cold water so it stops the plates in your hair from lifting up and the colour going out and then using something like a colour protecting shampoo nothing with too much citrus oils in so it's not as stripping on the hair and then we've got I'm just going to quickly blast through the Lush stuff because I got a lot I finished off my Snow Fairy body spray from last year as you can see it's all faded from being in this room but I do have a new bottle ready to be used I've got I finished ooh, four, five shower gels so I've finished off grass I finished off Twilight from two Christmases ago, three Christmases ago, oh my god, what a tramp, from three Christmases ago, finished off the It's Rain and Men that was, and the Olive Branch that were mentioned in my shower gel video collection, which I'll leave down below, and I also finished off today the Lush Lime Shower Smoothie from the Kitchen Subscription Box that I got last month. This smelled lovely, it's a really lovely lime strawberry smell. It, it kind of smells a little bit like Twisters, like Twister Ice Lollies. It's very nice, it's very subtle, and it, I love the feeling. It's lovely to shave with. If they could bring this out as a shave soap, that would be beautiful, I would buy that. Then we have got, I finished off my scrub, 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 body scrub. I'm sad that this is gone because I like the smell. It's the same smell as um, Junk Perfume and Bat Art Bath Bomb but I don't like the, the charcoal, it was a bit messy for me but it smelled really really good though and it made your skin really soft. I finished the Defluff shaving soap so they don't sell this anymore in store. I like the consistency of Defluff but what I really miss from the shaving range is 5 o'clock whistle so Lush if you're listening please bring out 5 o'clock whistle but vegan that would be lovely and then I also finished off a little tiny pot of pansy body lotion this is the same smell as the olive branch it's a lovely rich body lotion I'm so glad that they've brought out some more body lotions in store so in this one it has extra virgin olive oil aloe vera fair trade cocoa butter jojoba oil sunflower oil a leafy butter and then you've got their bergamot orange flower rosemary galabanum and labdanum resinoid evening primrose oil and safflower oil like for all your smells and it just it's such a lovely rich body lotion i think this is quite nice say for example if you don't like charity pot but you for the smell but you like the feel of it this is quite close and it does have aloe in so team pansy forever last two things from lush that i got 
and I got these in February when I went down to see City in Colour in London just before lockdown and I got these from Oxford Street. I got an exclusive fresh scalp treatment called Babylon. Uh, that's what it looks like. That's it there. And it says, if you want it, come and get it. Soothing rose water, cleansing nettle and absorbing resume mud help revive itchy scalps from ruin. So I gave this a try and I'll, I'll, I'll read the ingredients and I'll tell you how I, how I feel about it. You could probably tell by my sigh. <laughs> I hate when they put the stickers right over the ingredients, so annoying. Oh, I like that. On the sticker it says, for crying out loud, that's cool. Um, so the ingredients is kaolin, rose water, kombucha, epsom salt, you've got nettle powder, fresh wheatgrass juice, rizul mud, glycerin, gardenia extract, Sicilian, Sicilian? Sicilian lemon oil, sulfur powder, lemon myrtle oil, osmanthus absolute, uh, thyme oil, uh, water, menthol crystals, and then tincture of benzoin. And then you've got your chlorophyll in which mix because it's it's like a bright green. It's so it's like it literally looks like that kind of green, like the green on the label. It's got a very herbal medicinal smell. There was three masks for me to choose from, and this one seemed the best one again because of the the itchy flakiness thing that's going on with my scalp. Oh, I did not like it. I was blonde at the time when I tried it. It died well. <laughs> I'm being exact. It it felt like it stained my scalp green, but I think I just didn't wash it out properly the first time, and I had to wash it again. It's just not for me at all. I do not like it. So it says that the kombucha is a fermented yeast, great for keeping your scalp happy with rebalancing probiotics. I just did not like it. It took ages to wash out. I just no, no. You, what I think would be quite nice is a scalp scrub. So like big shampoo style pieces of salt, but maybe more scrubby for the scalp. Anyway, that's enough from me. The other thing I picked up from Oxford Street is the Prince of Darkness Fit Fresh Face Mask. I always pick one of these up when I go to Oxford Street because it's, I think they were supposed to come to all stores and then they just didn't bring them out all stores. But I absolutely, it's definitely meant for more oily skin, but I like using it if I'm having a like, good deep cleanse. And actually if you gently like blow on your face, it like warms up on the skin. It has charcoal in there, so it gives you a scrub. It has the best smell. It's so nice, the scent. And honestly, if this was like in a body lotion or a body scrub, I would love that. So the ingredients for this is glycerin, kaolin, full as earth, um, water, obviously, powdered charcoal, labdanum resinoid, patchouli oil, and tincture of benzoin with some lavender and fine sea salt. So it's got a very gentle exfoliation from the sea salt and the charcoal, but you can't, when you go to wash it off, a bit like don't look at me, you can feel it scrubbing. It's just a really lovely one for like deep cleansing it, and I, I do think I would love if they brought it out to all shops. But it is like a nice treat if you go to like Oxford Street or if you go to maybe Liverpool if they sell it as well to get that up. And don't forget, because I've got five, well I've got six pots here, but if you bring in five pots you do get a free fresh face mask. So if I was to go to London again I would take those pots and treat myself to another Prince of Darkness. And I like how it says in there, we're on a crazy train heading for scrubbed up skin with the charcoal and sea salt packed into this mask. Little nod there to Ozzy Osbourne, I think that's quite cool. But yeah! Oh my god, oh I've got one last thing, one last thing that isn't Lush related but is the Colab Dry Shampoo in the original fragrance, it says amazing oil absorption without re white residue and it smells really pretty, it don't sniff that smell, be careful how you sniff this but I felt like this ran out very quickly in comparison to the other Colab Dry Shampoo that I had mentioned in a previous empties, this one just seemed to go through it so quickly. I'm currently using the Colab Dry Shampoo with extra volume, and I'll tell you right now, this leaves white residue. There's nowhere on there that mentions anything about white residue, but this does leave white residue. And it, and whilst it does give instant lift in body, you can really feel it. I, I, I'm literally, I don't like this, but I'm using it to get rid of it. But yes, that is it. That is all of my empties for the month of September. I'm quite excited to see how I get through October. I can see that I've completely eaten my lipstick off. <laughs> but yes, 
I don't know about you guys, if you guys kind of pan through your products, if, the, if there's anything that you're kind of making a point of using up, but it's something really satisfying to see. And so let me know down in the comments below what you are using up at the moment, because I'm quite curious to see what other people are working their way through. But yes, thank you very much for watching. And if you liked this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 700 subscribers. So I'm just really excited by this. I just can't believe how much it's kind of gone. You can also follow me on Instagram at Sarah Jamison anyway to see more makeup looks. This week has been quite a chocker, well should I say this past week has been quite a chocker block of videos. I'm hoping to have more mixture of videos and so not just all lush related ones because I know it's a bit overkill. But yes, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!